Fox, I'm Lauren. And I'm Sydney, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Let's go check out what people said about the would you rather questions. We asked people would you rather questions again. Let's go see what they said this time. Um, Antarctica. Antarctica. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> Neither. Antarctica. Ocean. Ocean. Space, because the ocean is terrifying. There's like weird stuff down there. Explore space. Ocean. Ocean. I would rather be by the ocean. I prefer the ocean. Neither. <laughs> probably, um... Probably dinner. Probably... Cause you could go yeah, like probably Chipotle dinner. Go like Chipotle and walk through. Okay, yeah, probably dinner. Neither, but, uh... I guess I'm movies alone. Dinner movies. alone, I do it all the time. <laughs> no, movies. Without my phone. Uh, without the internet. Um, uh, probably phone. Phone. Without internet. Um, without internet. Oh, definitely cash. And then I can buy my own gifts. Cash. Make sure you check back for part three. And now onto announcements. The cheer team is selling cardboard cutouts of our fans to be in the gym for our home games. Orders are due December 17th. Bowling tryouts are being held Monday through Wednesday, December 14th through 16th from 3.30 to 5. And that's all for announcements. Let's go find out what's happening with the yearbooks. Today I'm giving you an update regarding the 2020 school year yearbook. Once the books have been sent off to Jostens, it shows that they're in production. So when they're in production, that means they're being printed, they're being bound, they're being prepared for shipment. But we do not get an exact delivery date until they are ready to ship. So Jostens will send me a date when the books are ready to be shipped to us. And then about 10 days later, it's usually about 10 days, we get the books at the school. So once I have that shipping order, we know that 10 days later, the books will show up. But as of right now, they show that they're in production. So they're being printed, bound, and prepared for shipment. Make sure to check out Schoology for upcoming information about the yearbook. Now let's go see what's happening with the girls wrestling. This is my first year. Um, I feel like I just want to be able to like win and just learn um, a bunch of moves so I can like dominate, you know? I think wrestling is really fun and I've enjoyed doing it so far and like I've met a lot of new people so it's been fun. This is my first year doing it. We practiced every morning Monday through Friday and we've had Saturday practices before. I think we're gonna keep having Saturday practices. There was like 21 this morning, but sometimes we have days where there's only like 18 or 16. Fire cadence! You got it, cadence! Fire cadence! You got this cadence! Yeah. Hopefully, I just wanna finish the wrestling season knowing how to wrestle. No, this is my first year. Our first meet is this Saturday at Emporia. Um, I just want everyone to feel comfortable in their own shoes and really um, get out of their comfort zone. Everyone, especially me, so. Let's go see who the athlete of the week is. Congratulations to this week's SVTV Athletes of the Week, voted on by the students of Seaman High. Those students are Lexi Koch and Ewan Mills. Congratulations to Lexi and Ewan on the Athlete of the Week. 
Now over to Zoe for the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. Today is going to be our first taste of these extremely cool temperatures. Our highs today are only going to be in the lower 40s, and we also do have some chance of precipitation this afternoon and tonight. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, our temperatures are going to remain in the 40s and 50s area for the next upcoming week, but we do also have a chance of these precipitation chances moving through tonight and coming in tomorrow with some snow chances mixed in. Now back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.